Okay, this one's called standing inner thigh. These muscles right in here through the front half. I'm going to have my feet spread and then stride it as long as they are spread. So you have your feet at the corners of a box pretty equally. I'm going to start by going forward through my hips. I'm trying to keep my, hip, my, keep my hips straight forward. Where you'll feel this is in this part of your front hip or your groin. Then I'm going to stay forward and move laterally. As I move laterally, I feel this right through here. If you don't feel it, here's a few tips. You can lean back through your torso. That's going to increase the stretch. You can also increase your range of your feet. Now I'm going to go ahead and rotate towards that side, opening up this hip, rotating that hip, and then I'm going to rotate the other way, just like that, rotate the other way, moving my hips against this thigh. Very good. Now we'll switch sides. Okay, standing groin, other leg. Notice that my feet are as straddled as wide as they are strided at a pretty equal distance. I'm rocking forward through the hips. Both feet are straight forward. That's important. Keeping the hips forward. A lot of times what happens is your hips will want to turn into the direction of your back foot. Keep them forward. If I need to increase this stretch, the stretch is right here, I lean back just a little bit. Then I'm going to stay forward, go laterally. I'm moving away from that hip socket so I can feel it right through there, rocking away. Now I'm going to rotate into it, rotate into it. Just like that, if I need to feel more, I lean back through the torso. And then I'm going to stay forward, stay to the side, turn back into it. This is really important action through that back hip socket, rotating that back hip socket. That's called the standing inner thigh.